Okay, I just want to get on here and give you an update <clears throat> on the inner stem bladder therapy. I had mine installed on 11 19 of this year, which is 2019. <clears throat> if you've not watched my first video, it was the first stage of the inner stem. A lot of people may know it as a bladder pacemaker. Um, I was in surgery a little bit over an hour. I made the trip home just fine. I was sore, yeah, but I, I've slept a whole lot since I've been home. This is just my second day with it, but so far it's working really, really good for me. You are sent home with some pain medication because, I mean, they, they are pain involved. I actually have some staples. I have to go back in a week for those staples to be taken out, but I just want to kind of show you a few things that you're sent home with. Um, this, this is a two-part not like the first stage. The first stage you only get this and the charge cord. But now when you come home, you have this extra piece. Now if you'll see, this side is blue. This side is white. Now blue is what they taught me. Blue is always got to be facing the device. My device is installed on my right side of my butt cheek. So you'll to turn this little piece on, you just take your finger and you'll hit this blue button here and you'll see that it lights up blue. Now to charge this, if it starts getting low, this little box right here will turn yellow. This uh, charge cord that you're sent home with fits this and it also fits this. Now for these two pieces to communicate, this has to go and lay over my back where my device is actually implanted. And then once that is laid over, then this here, you'll see that it says searching for the device. And that's because I don't have it laid over the pacemaker right now. But once I lay it over, then I will hit the button that says find the device. And then it will start communicating then. And then you can go into your therapies and choose which therapy is right for you. Now, this is different than the first cell phone. You'll see there where it says like connect and it says searching for the device that's where i don't have this laid over my back where the pacemaker is in there but you can change your therapies it's, they come with like seven different therapies and whichever therapy that you choose you'll still be able to take like you know the amps of it up till you start feeling it and it's, it's still that same sensation like the first stage of the trial it's like that tapping you'll feel that tapping feeling there's no pain unless you turn it up really high on the tapping right now i have my therapy on like a six that's the the therapy that i chose but then my amps on it might be like a 0 0.9 you know you'll, you'll just go up and you'll go down till you start feeling like that tapping and it's in your bicycle areas where that tapping is now they'll, they'll send you home with one of these little temporary ID cards. It is a medical ID card. Uh, you'll get your hard copy of it in the mail. <clears throat> You're to keep this card with you at all times. Uh, just kind of overlook my voice because a few weeks back I did have vocal cord surgery so I'm not like 100% with my voice. So you'll probably hear me clear my voice quite a few times. <clears throat> now one other thing that I did do uh, Metatronic don't send you home with it, but you can get online and you can order bracelets. They're the medical ID bracelets. You can have them engraved and have whatever you choose to put on those bracelets. Uh, I've got mine from eBay. You could probably do Amazon. Uh, I found that uh, eBay was a little bit cheaper than what Amazon was. And you'll see mine right now just says like pacemaker on it. But I do have some more coming that, that's got a lot more information on it. Uh, they'll have like my name on there, the Metatronics name, and then they'll have like a contact number for them. That way if something was to ever happen, that you know they'll see that I have a medical ID bracelet on before they actually get into my wallet to I guess to search for a card. Um, I was told that you could only have an MRI from my neck up. I can't have an MRI from here down. Uh, it could really hurt me if you know someone doesn't know that that device is in me and god forbid that i can't talk and they give me a full body mri there could be lots of complications for me on that uh when you do or your little bracelets mine have came with some like these extra little medical cards and they're blank 
but they'll have the areas for like you know for you to put your information and my thought on that is all these little extra cards that I'm getting with these bracelets that I'm ordering I'm going to fill those out and put all the information that needs to be on there and I'm going to give that to some family members that way you know if there's a situation where I can't speak or, or no one can communicate for me and a family member you know is there or on the phone or whatever they can say hey I have one of our ID cards here's the information you know that that you all need to be aware about before they actually do some maybe procedures or test on me that they shouldn't do um, I'll, I'll stand up and let you kind of see my back area the only issues that I'm really having is kind of like when I stand up or I sit down and I guess it's for those stables in there they kind of pull when I'm you know going up and down when I walk I do hurt but it ain't like tremendous pain but I mean I do have pain and like I say they do send you home this round because the first round they sent me home I was just instructed you know just take like Tylenol over the counter which which was fine it done great for the first phase but now for this phase you know Tylenol over the counter I, I don't think would have really helped me so they did send me home it's a low dose prescription pain medicine but it does help it kind of helps take that edge off the pain but I mean I still do have some pain but overall I mean it's working really really good for me you will have to kind of maybe play with your therapies a little bit to figure out what's best for you what's working best for you now I was told the battery life in this is an average of five years before you would have to go in and have it replaced and they say that you know when you go in to have the pacemaker replaced the surgery is not I guess in detail as it is the first time they don't remove the wires or anything all they're doing is just taking the little pacemaker out and, and putting a new implant in for you so maybe a person won't be as sore or as bad on that um, like I say a lot of videos I've seen on here people's done great with the trial run but then when they've had the permanent implant put in success has not been as good but as of right now I mean I can say that I'm doing wonderful I actually love this I mean it's working for me I'm not going to the bathroom every 15 20 30 minutes um, I have like I said I have slept a whole lot and I've actually got to sleep and not be woken up because I have to go pee I have actually just woke up because I woke up my bladder wasn't the issue on waking me up which was always my issue before I could never get like a full night's sleep I was always up and down all night long and I would feel so bad the next day because I just couldn't rest but I'll stand up show you my back I'll let you see what that area looks like you'll see that it don't look so bad you know I say it's just like when I want to sit down right there it's just like you kind of feel like that that pull I mean it must be the staples is what I think that it is but overall I mean it's, it's not bad it's not a bad surgery at all it's really really not for me it was worth it but if you've got these bladder issues it's just driving you crazy and all the medications you know that the doctors try and they put you on they didn't work for me I mean they done everything but the one thing that did work for me was the bladder sling which I got hit like over a year ago now with that bladder sling that does not stop the urgency but what that did stop was from me constantly wetting myself where I was all the time having to wear the pins now I don't have to wear the pins because of that bladder sling now on that they say sometimes you know after a couple years you do have to go back in for that because I guess you know it kind of stretches out or whatever I'm not real sure on that but yeah other than that I mean this inner stem it's doing great it's working wonderful for me uh, so like I say you might want to talk to your doctor about this this might be something that will work for you and then again it may not you know be workable for you but thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Thank you.